Hello fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Tech Talkies. So, you've got yourself a Raspberry Pi Pico, what next? That is exactly what I'm gonna help you with today. How to set up the hardware and software, and even some little projects at the end, so stay tuned. The first thing we want to do when we get our hands on a brand new Raspberry Pi Pico is to solder some header pins to it. Don't worry, it sounds way more difficult than it actually is. With some basic soldering skills and the right tools, you'll have those pins attached in no time. Once you've successfully soldered the header pins, it's time to move on to software setup. We'll be using the beginner-friendly Thani software, which is perfect for coding projects with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Visit Thani.org and hit download. Link is in the description if you need it. Thani makes writing and running code a breeze. Just follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer, and you'll be ready to go in minutes. Now, let's take a closer look at the Pico. There is the microcontroller itself. And there are two more hardware that we can actually control. This LED here. And the onboard temperature sensor here. And, before we can start using these components, let's get the board ready for programming. We will be using MicroPython to code our Pico. First, connect the Pico to the computer, with the boot cell button pressed down. Now the Pico will show up as a mass storage device on your computer. Now, there are two ways to install MicroPython on your Pico. Number 1, automatically using Thani. Click here and select Install MicroPython. Now select the correct options for your board and install. Your Pico should automatically restart and should now be running MicroPython. Number 2, go to raspberrypi.com and find the UF2 file, the direct link is in the description. Download the file and simply drag and drop it on your Pico. Voila, you should now be running MicroPython. Again, your Pico should automatically restart and should now be running MicroPython. If the board is not automatically selected, select it here. Now let's test it with a simple one-line command. Look at the shell panel at the bottom of the Thani editor. You should see something like this. Thani is now able to communicate with your Raspberry Pi Pico using the REPL, read eval, print loop, which allows you to type Python code into the shell and see the output instantly. Type, print hello world. And there you go, we got a hello back. Now let's see about that LED. We need to import pin before we can access the LED pin. The onboard LED is connected to pin 25, so. Then we write toggle and see what happens. Pretty cool. All this is run from the computer in real time and will not persist between powering off and on. For that we need to write the code here and save it to the Pico. Click in the main editor panel of Thani. Enter the same code to toggle the LED. Click on the save button. Thani will ask whether you want to save the file on this computer or the MicroPython device. Choose MicroPython device. Enter main.py as the file name. You need to enter the .py file extension so that Thani recognizes the file as a Python file. You should see the onboard LED switch between on and off each time you click the run button. We can use the timer module to set a timer that runs a function at regular intervals. So that the LED is blinking continuously without our help. Update your code so it looks like this. Click run and your program will blink the LED on and off until you click the stop button. We have successfully loaded the famous blink program to our new Pico. Now, let's get to that temperature sensor. Let's import machine and time. Declare the necessary variables. Then, we read the temperature inside a loop and print it. Let's run it now. And there you have it, it is printing the temperature every 2 seconds. The link to the code is in the description. The onboard sensor is not very accurate, if you need accurate readings, I recommend you use an external sensor like the DHT22. That is all for today folks, comment if you want to see more Raspberry Pi Pico projects. Like and subscribe for more electronics content.